Yes, yeah. the back safe and sound, yes. Overall, what do you think of the performance? I thought these girls done a phenomenal job. Um, the support back here in Bermuda, we couldn't help but just applaud their efforts and the way they carried themselves, the way they handled themselves. They definitely went out there and made a name for themselves. <laughs> Overall, obviously you were up against it. Um, what did you think of the, the girls' performance? Um, as team captain, I couldn't be any more proud of the performance that we displayed. Um, we fought hard, we gave everything that we had. We had multiple games in a short time period, so um, I'm extremely proud to represent Bermuda. We actually um, earned a lot of respect from the way that we played. Um, they didn't really know what to expect from us, so I feel that we represented ourselves well, Bermuda well, our family well, and um, I just couldn't be any more proud of what we did. What were some of the things that kind of shocked you about your opponents? You had, you had four game, three games, three different teams. What were some of the things that would have shocked you about your opponents? Um, so Ireland in particular comes to mind. They were very organized. They're an experienced team. So um, I think we all knew it was going to be physical. We all knew the fitness level was going to be high. Um, and we knew that the opposition was going to be tall. So that wasn't so much of a shock. But the fact that um, Ireland in particular, they were very organized. Um, one player, I believe, had 50 caps. So um, as a young team, as an inexperienced team, you know, I thought we'd done very well against Ireland in particular. Um, Israel. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You win that. What's the team talk going to the next game? Well, ultimately, the team talk going into the next game was to be very, very focused. You know, although we did, we won big, but we didn't want to get too excited, right? It's like, okay, first game's done, but we still got multiple games to go. So as a team, we collectively um, sat in groups and we strategized with the coaches. We um, identified who we was going to play next and what the strategy, what the strategy was going to be to play them. Obviously, two games in one day is going to take a turn on you. Absolutely. Um, what, what you guys do in between the games to ensure that you had, you had enough left in the tank to get you know, a good fight against the both? Yeah, so playing against Ireland, we went into the game knowing that we had to be mentally and physically fit. Um, we, we, it was a tough one, but we competed, and in fact, we shocked them. So, we had a four-hour break. In my opinion, we needed more time, but going into the game for Gibraltar, it was like, okay, guys, let's focus. We went into the game, we played hard. It was upsetting at the end, we only lost by six. But if we would have given us the time and more preparation to recover, we would have won that game. Now, what's some of the things you guys need to work on to make sure you stay at this level and improve and also help the local game? Sure. So I think the most important thing is that we keep the amazing momentum that we've built up by attending this tournament going. Our coach is currently networking with the English coaches and Super League coaches and, and helping build Bermuda's representation um, at the netball Europe level. We have a tournament with the USA netball team coming up soon, so we'll be preparing for that as well as recovering from this tournament, um, trying to strategically apply some of the lessons we've learned from the games we have played, looking at some of the games of the USA and thinking about our tactics for that match. So moving forward also outside of recovery and training, for us to move forward, we need financial support from the country, from sponsorships. Of course, we'll do our duty and continue with the fundraising, but in order to, in order to make this program work and for the senior team to continue to get experience and to travel and play these international teams to continue with our ranking, we need the support. Nine parishes, one team, long tail shots, girl!